All right, everyone, I got the coffee here. We got the cold brew running, and I'm gonna show you how to make six figures with SaaS using Go High Level. And it's probably gonna be a lot different from other videos that you've watched. So I trust that as you watch this video, you're gonna really have a lot of breakthroughs in terms of how to position your service and how to ultimately get your clients results. So what we're gonna cover here is number one, how to create a results-based service so that you stop selling go high level or SaaS, which basically anyone can do. And I'm gonna two, show you how to make go high level the centerpiece of your program or of your service. And three, I'm gonna show you how to tie the result that your client wants to the software. So really what you can probably already see here is three main sections. So we have what most agencies do, which is what I've done for the longest time. Then you've now, you can now see what we do. So we do this plus this. And then lastly, what makes it all possible? Well, it's go high level humans and some automation. And so once we understand this frame that I'm gonna take you through, you'll be able to take your product from a pile of maybe results to 90 to 100% efficiency where you give clients exactly what they want at 90 to 100% efficiency. And if you can do that, if you can give people what they want and they're making money or achieving whatever result it is that they want with your offer or your service, you are gonna be in business for a long time. And regardless of market circumstances, people will want to work with you and get ideas from you. So I'm gonna show you how do you take your go high level product pitch and offer from a pile of maybe to how do you really get people what they want. And so let's get into it. So the first thing is to create a results based service. So let's cover what most agencies do. So most agencies, right, will run a lead generation campaign on Facebook or TikTok or YouTube or you know Google Ads, keywords, whatever, right? And I'm not saying that this is the exact uh, process, right, that every agent does, but you can, if you're familiar with you know agency work or marketing, you you know what I'm saying, right? So you have your campaign, right? And this is ultimately also what most people sell, right? So we're gonna run your campaign on Facebook. We're gonna create audience one. We're gonna run four or a hundred images and test them. We're gonna optimize for the lowest cost per lead and then we're gonna retarget those leads that didn't submit or that did submit and they're gonna get the, uh, you know, if they didn't submit or excuse me, if they did submit, then they go to a booked call page and then if they did, uh, did not submit, then they get retargeted and then they resubmit and then they book the call, right? So it's decent, it worked in 2016, 2017, 2018, um, you know, where I, you, I used to charge, you know, $3,000 a month for this service, right? And, um, you know, I got a lot of clients and stuff, but basically it didn't really work, right? And so as an agency owner, you have to look at a few different things, right? And I'm the type of person where I would rather go above and beyond, charge way more for my services and hire the necessary people or myself devote the time that's necessary to get the client the desired result. If I have a connection with them and I feel like we can do great stuff, even I'd rather do that if it's a lot harder, even, even if it means maybe spending more time or like I said, um, you know, hiring more people or Basically, I would rather devote the time, the energy, the money and necessary to give the client an amazing result at as, you know, most of the time, if not all of the time, than do what's easy, right? And this is really easy, right? If you've been in the agency space, you know, especially for, you know, my channel's primarily real estate and if you're a real estate agent watching this and you're thinking about hiring an agent, see, um, you know, 
hopefully they don't uh, just do this, right? And this is where, you know, you're going to have to learn kind of as a buyer what you really are looking for in a system, right? So this video can be two part, right? One, if you're an agency owner, how to get your clients great results and make six figures with go high level. And two, if you're an agent and you are in the market for hiring a company and you want to become aware of what, you know, what's going on on the back end, right? So I would rather, right, at this point, do solve the entire problem even no matter what it takes then just do what's easy and this is really 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 dang easy guys like i'm telling you you can set up an ad campaign start getting leads for a client and um, you know get them even automated appointments um like pretty easily i mean you could take a beginner that has zero experience and on one training with me they can set this up right so what begins to happen or is what began to happen to me is i started to sell this easy thing right and so it was like okay cool get a client you know um it, this also makes getting clients harder because you don't have as good of results and then because you don't have as good as results you have to rely more on selling and all these different things and that's never been my style so yeah that's just not how i i am i'm relationship based and you know i've been able to do you know well every year from you know just a small intimate kind of uh you know group and community of uh, referrals and people that i've met people that watch my content where you know a lot of people have to get a ton of clients and their churns very high so I never really dealt with that. I did try to tap into that for a bit and like I said, kind of mass market sell this and I was just competing and trying to do everything the same the same thing everyone else was doing. So what happened? My product was a pile of maybe. It was like you may or may not get results. Most likely you probably won't, right? If you're really being honest, how likely is it that someone's going to get results with your service? This is a huge question. And depending on what that percentage is, like, okay, realistically, like 10% of the time you're going to get like the result you want, you have to spend all of your energy figuring out how to make that to 100%. And obviously, reality is reality. And so you can't, um, you know, control every single element, but you have to start to think like that, okay, how do I get it to where every time a client signs on, they're going to get an amazing result like Amazon. You know, you don't want to buy a product on on their website and it say, hey, it'll get there, you know, in one day or two days or whatever it is. And then you never receive it. Imagine if only 10 percent of the time you ordered from Amazon, you actually got your package like ever. It would would Amazon be in business? No. Right. But what happens is a lot of like marketers and people that are starting out, they learn from different people and they just kind of focus on this. Right. And so I'm going to walk you through this. If you're new here, this would basically be like a, an ad campaign to generate leads for a client's business. So you run your ads, you retarget, and then what ends up happening is they, you know, you get a lead and then, you know, maybe even that lead books a call and there could technically even be, um, you know, a thing here, right? And if they don't book a call, right, I mean, this whole this whole thing could basically be, um, you know, they maybe respond, right? I'm not going to draw all this out though, since I already have it, but, um, you know, the lead, maybe I'll batch it into one, maybe responds, maybe is the correct info, maybe knows who you are, maybe is qualified, et cetera, et cetera, right? And basically, you know, when 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 you realize that this is really the link that you're giving your client, you you know, everything can change. And that's why I'm making this video for you is because this changed my business, changed my clients results. I mean, if you call all my clients right now that are on this service, they're going to be happy, right with what I'm doing. And I can, I'm confident in that. Um, and that's why one of our clients has made literally, it's probably a million bucks profit at this point, right? Because we're not just doing this, okay? So how do you fix this, right? You have to go to the next step, right? Which is 
the what we do part of this and I'm not saying here's what you should do too because that's I don't like to like give advice or tell people what to do I don't know you guys you know I know some of you that watch but I obviously can't see that right now so I'm not here to tell you what to do right but this is what we do and this you probably can see is how it would change your product or service so really in any sort of like sales uh, service, right, where you're getting leads and you're getting, you know, salespeople appointments, whether it's real estate agents or it's investors or it's, uh, you know, solar reps or it's, uh, you know, life insurance uh, reps or even if, I mean, you can still translate this next section to any type of business. It may not be this exact same process. But even if you work with like uh, restaurants, right, they don't want people to, it sounds crazy, right? But they don't even care if somebody shows up to their restaurant. Imagine you brought people, 100 people to the restaurant and none of them bought any food, right? No one, that's not really, really, really what they want, right? They want customers, right? And in sales or real estate, it's more like a client. So you have to realize that this is literally, no matter how easy this is, if it's not producing like this result here, which I'll talk about, it doesn't matter like how easy it is or how good your ads are or, you know, how you can just keep getting customers because you're just going to keep losing people, right? And um, obviously losing people is kind of the nature of the game just in anything, right? But um, if you can always look at how to make your product better, I'm telling you this other stuff just word of mouth people want to sign up and it just that's how it goes right so for my business what we do right is we I realized hey you know with with real estate this should be engaged so real estate investors right that's who we work with only right now in terms of our done for you services so agents or agency owners you know they can invest into our programs learn how to generate leads learn how to do this stuff partner with the partner with us, et cetera, et cetera, right? So when it comes to a service, I realized, okay, real estate investors, they only want property owners, right? They don't want a retail buyer, right? Like a person that's like, oh, I'm looking to buy a $200,000 home. Like that adds no value to an investor unless they bought a home, flipped it, or need to wholesale it to at that exact price. And it's basically ready for someone to to move in that would really only be the case that somebody would need a, a buyer right and let alone if you start sending them a bunch of buyers it's not really valuable right so there's obviously nuances and specifics in this entire thing that i'm saying but the essence of what an investor would want is they want an off-market deal if they're a flipper right which would be like our target client they want an off-market deal right so a deal that's not listed on the mls where the homeowner is not working with an agent, in most cases they don't want a mobile home. And on top of it, you have these other kind of intangibles, which is like, is the lead actually engaged, right? Like, are they responding? Because you could have a lead that, that's what cold calling is, or you know, getting cold lists. Oh, well, this is the perfect lead on paper, but they have no need to sell, they don't know who you are, and they don't they don't care right to respond so if you could imagine any one of these little b building blocks being off then just imagine it as like a zero right and every time you can stack a one now you're per you're you know you're stacking the perfect service so they got to be off market they can't be working with an agent right they have to not be a mobile home in most cases right they need to be responding, right, and actually saying, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in selling my house. They have to be willing to sell, right, like at a discount, right, below market value, right? So whether either the house is distressed or it's old or there's a lot of equity in it, they inherited it, they're divorced, whatever the scenario is, there has to be some reason that they're willing to basically not list it on the market, not sell it for top dollar, and sell it fast and sell it for cash, right? 
And so those are like all the things and there's even more, right? Because then let's say all those things match up, but you know, the deal, there's not an actual, actual deal for the investor, my client, right? Maybe it's literally in the middle of nowhere and there's no demand for people moving into this neighborhood or this market. There's not really any growth opportunity. Well, now it's not a deal and you're not giving, you know, you could have all those things line up. But if you're not giving, if you're giving the investor hundreds and hundreds of these a month, even if they tick off all of the other criteria and there's no deal, it doesn't matter, right? So you have to have all those things line up and then you start to give them what they want, right? And so once there's, like I said, they're not on the market, they're not working with an agent, it's not a mobile home, they're actually engaging, they're willing to sell, they're willing to sell at a discount, um, and then on top of that, there's a potential deal for the investor, right? Where, oh, I actually buy here, like, this is a deal, this is an opportunity, like, this is what I want, right? Now, this is where you as the service provider have to really get this down to an exact science, right? Of like, okay, we got the ads part down, right? And if you're new here, you've never ran an ad before, and you can watch some of my trainings to learn how to do this, then you'll that'll get you to like this part of the problem. Now, people are booking calls, but if they're a bunch of buyers or there's not even a deal, you're just sending them a pile of maybe, right? Okay, like, why would I stay on this thing? I don't, is this going to keep working with this guy or, or not, right? That's what they're thinking when they're working with you. But now we engage the lead. So cool. Are they responding? Are they actually interacting? Are they, you know, like saying that they're ready to talk, right? And then two, qualified, right? Is there a potential deal? Could this be a creative finance opportunity? Could this be a wholesale deal? Could this be a rental for an investor? Could this be a flip? Um, you know, and are they willing to sell at a under market value? Is there, is there a deal? That's really what the qualifying is as we define it, because you could qualify them on paper and they're not engaged. So what does it matter now? That's just a cold lead or you can qualify them on paper and, uh, you know, everything lines up, but they're not like on paper, like, oh wow, if they were willing to sell at this price, there'd be a deal and they're not willing to sell, right? So these things got to line up. And then two, we now verify them showing up to the appointment. Because imagine they're engaged, they're responding, then they qualify the lead. And like, it's a perfectly qualified lead. You tell your investor, hey, at two o'clock, be ready for the call. And they call the lead and they don't show up and they, they never show up. It's like, that's not what I want, right? Now you're telling your investor to go follow up which is not what they want. And then when you notify, uh, yeah, and then we only notify, like I said, when a, when a qualified lead is engaged, ready to talk, and is qualified, right? So then from there, now what are we delivering our client? Well, we're delivering our client somebody that always shows up, somebody that's always qualified, and then somebody that's always engaged. And there, there becomes the offer. If I tell an investor this, hey, we can get you, you know, appointments with motivated sellers willing to sell at a discount, 100% off market, not mobile homes. There's a potential deal there for flipping, for wholesaling, for creative finance, um, for a listing referral, right? You just name out all the possibilities. They're always going to be qualified and they're always going to be engaged. They're always going to show up. And we can start getting you these, you know, within the next few days. It doesn't matter if I run ads. It doesn't matter about high level. It doesn't matter about um, videos or retargeting or any of that, right? If I could do this door knocking, then I could do this door knocking, right? If I could do this, you know, if a bunch of people watched my content online for selling their home and they're just flocking to me and they're fitting this criteria, then... Why, why does it matter how I do it, right? As long as this stuff's ethical and you're, yeah, it's ethical, but I'm kind of assuming that that's part of what we're already doing, right? So this chain right here, right? You got to figure out what this is for your business. If you're an agency to a real estate agent or an investor or solar or 
um, you know, a restaurant or an automotive spot or whatever your niche is, you have to figure out what this next chain is. Because if you don't do this, one, when you go in and pitch just this and just give people a bunch of stuff to do, they're not going to stay even if it's cheap, right? Anything that's Anything that people don't use, right, and and they don't find value in is going to be too expensive, right? So if people, like for me, if I, you know, there's been things where I've bought, you know, it's like 20 bucks and it's like, it's like a, let's just say it's like I buy food for 20 bucks and, you know, it's, it's like rotten or something, right? Even though it's 20 bucks, it's not 20,000, it's like it doesn't add value to me, so it's too expensive. So even if you charge $1 for a go high level and it's not valuable to your customer because they just have to do a bunch of stuff and figure stuff out and spend hours and hours, it go high level is going to be too much, right? But conversely, how come somebody would pay $10,000, $20,000 for, for what I'm showing you right here and it's the same exact thing. It's just what you're actually providing and how you're positioning it. So what I do, right, and which is the point of this video, which is how do you make six figures with SaaS high level, especially if you're starting out, is don't focus on go high level. I mean, I know people uh, tell you to just focus on go high level, focus on the software, focus on all these features, but I mean... What, why, would, why would they pay you 297 when you can go to high level directly to pay 97 and they have their own thing, right? So this is my suggestion, right? And this is based on my experience. So you obviously could do whatever it is that you'd like, but this is my personal experience and this is what transform, transformed my business was I saw all this first and then from there, I realize what makes it possible. Well, Go High Level makes this possible. Why? Because I need ads, I need funnels, I need humans, I need automation, I need workflows, I need voicemail drops, I need all the things, right? These are all the little things I need, right? But if I go and sell people a, a tool bag, you know, versus the car, right? Imagine. Tesla just sold you all these unless you want to build your own car, right? Which is where you could sell this to people that want to build their own system or whatever. And that's fine. That's probably a smaller segment of the market versus if you go to an automotive shop or any one of these industries, these niches and say, hey, you know, you figure out what this is, right? For them, which is like, how do you deliver them? at 90 to 100% efficiency, the result that they want, which is in most cases qualified, you know, sales conversations where people actually show up and are interested, right? And then if you're a restaurant or e -com, then, you know, it's basically just sales, right? They don't care if you do email marketing or, you know, getting 50% open rates or the stores converting at 3% if they're losing money, right? So you got to kind of figure out what this is. This is just my truth based on my industry and what I've found success with. And I wanted to share it with you because like I said, a lot of people I see, they're running in, guns blazing, go high level, look at all the stuff you can do, um, which is great. But if you, I'm telling you, someone, two people go into meet a business owner, right? And they want this. And even though you have a great product, which is high level, it on its own is just, there right i mean you could have high level installed on your it doesn't matter it's just there it's not useful just being there right you have to there's got to be stuff that happens right and it doesn't mean you do it you could have vas do it you could have you know systems in place but i'm telling you this you can charge you know two thousand three thousand five thousand ten thousand i mean it's unlimited right um if you're delivering people at 90 to 100 percent efficiency what you know what it is that they want and this is ultimately like if you're in a sales business right this is kind of what like a referral is right think about it instead of ads right and 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 that thing it's like two people right that know each other and have memories together and spent time together have built trust together 
um, spent money together, like traveled the world together, whatever it is. And that friend is like in need of, of really this, right? Like that's why all this stuff doesn't matter. It's just the way to do it or one way to do it. But you know, a friend knows somebody else and they've, like I said, they've spent time and energy. They, they know, like, and trust each other. And person number one needs this, right? I, I need leads or I need, I need deals for my solar business, right? And so if you get a good referral, it's basically that client. That's why most people say referrals are better than ads because it's like you're just consistently getting people that convert because of all this stuff that's been done, right? But imagine your referral, like someone that gives you referrals came to you and said, hey, here's what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to go to events. I'm going to talk to people. I'm going to sell people, you know, on your product and, you know, just talk about your product. Like that's what all this starts to look like. And then it's like, okay, I don't really know if I, I want that, right? At the end of the day, I want someone signing up and the closest thing to that is me getting on the phone or meeting in person with that person that's engaged, qualified, and shows up. And if they do that and they need what it is that I have, I'm going to keep converting at a very, very high percentage, right? So you have to kind of engineer referrals for your clients' businesses, right? And this is what you can do through marketing. This is what you can do through video. This is what you can do with Go High Level, right? And now it becomes, like I said, focus on this. And then this stuff is easy. Like just get real clear on what that client wants. It's like, oh, shoot, I can build a funnel to get them leads. Cool. I don't need to tell them all about it, but cool. They need leads, right? Because those leads will be appointments and those appointments will be sales, right? And so now, okay, well, Go High Level has the funnel feature. Oh, Go High Level has the text feature, right? To keep them engaged. Go High Level has the live chat feature, right? And you can start to do all of these things and just use High Level, some humans, right? VAs or employees that follow up with the leads and then you have automation. But really, there's not much more to the equation than these like three elements, which is why you can sell go high level, right? As a, as like the, it's the, it's the result to the software. So like with our clients right now, when we get lead, when we get like leads that come in that we qualify internally and create the conversation for all this stuff I'm showing you, when that lead is basically meets all these criteria, we uh, tag them in high level, right? And then they get a notification and then they, they log into this app, right? Which is go high level. And then all they're seeing is, you know, a bunch of, you know, texts or they hear the call conversation and they're like looking at this lead that's like, yes, I'm ready to talk about selling my property. And they're like, boom. And then all they have to do is call them and say, hey, this is Quinn. Um, we're going back and forth about you know you selling your property, and then they just go into their process, right? So they don't have to deal with all the tags, automation, none of it matters. So um, if you start out with this information, I'm telling you, you'll be way further ahead than me because when I first started, I saw this. I was so zoomed in. And all I saw was just a little dollar sign on every client. Okay, the $2,000 a month. And that's that's all I saw. It. And then now it's like, dude, I don't even care about getting clients anymore. Because I know by just focusing on this, like literally people are going to like, I already am seeing it. The word spreading, people are like, I want this. Like I don't even have to try to like do any fancy thing. It's like, what do you want? Okay, you met you, uh, you know, uh, fit the criteria of what we help with. So here's how we do it. And then here's what we do. And it's like, and, and then you add a results based guarantee and you start adding all these like fail safes in. I mean, it's very, very logical. But like I said, when you're learning business, uh, a lot of this stuff isn't laid out. So it's kind of like sales is a very emotional game. You're tricking people, you're trying to sell them um and your product's not that good and so you're just trying to get them in the door collect that money and then that's it and like i said if you follow it through fully this is like really what people sell 
And then how do you actually do it? And can you actually do it? And are you doing it well? And if you're doing it well, it's like, it's like you could be so confident in the fact that like, look, we're, this is what we're doing live right now. Call up the people we're doing it with. And like, if you need help with this or need help with that, like we have everything you need to like, you know, it's not cheap, but it's like, if you want this stuff, like we, we got it right. So, um, because of the nature of services, this is really like, I would say this is ultimately like basically everything I'm highlighting right here, um, including this, right. But I can't highlight it the way it's set up. This is like, this is really this whole thing, right? Is like the process. And then this is ultimately the product, right? Is this, these last things you want to communicate. If you go to Apple and you look at the new iPhone, right? Think about all the things they had to do to create the product, the design, the ideas, um, all the things that went on in the background, which is ultimately potentially this if you have a service you're running ads you're qualifying you're testing new ads you're doing all these things right but when you see this you want to just see this you want to see this you want to see the price you don't want to see like all the things they went through and if you look at really great companies it's like they I think showing people what you go through to ensure them and show them how you're actually delivering them results is is definitely valuable but in in the terms of selling this and like communicating this as like this is what we do if you're if there's a flaw here like if there's a missing link over here people are going to pick that up and and you may not even realize that's why you're not closing clients is because you're selling all this and then this little one piece that you're forgetting, right? Which is that screw the ads, screw the funnels, screw all the stuff we do. At the end of the day, this is exactly what we're going to get you. Motivated seller that shows up to the appointment, that's actually qualified, they're actually engaged, they're willing to sell at a discount, and they're ready to hop on the phone with you, right? That is what you position. And then if they ask you a question like, oh, well, uh, how do you do it? Well, now you can show this. But if you sell, like, we'll run your ads, we'll get you, you know, we're really good at ads, we're, we got all these funnels, and people automatically book appointments. If you're not, literally, if somebody came to me and said, hey, we got a funnel, ads, all this stuff, we'll get you booked appointments, I'd be like, that's, it's missing something, right? And I would say, okay, what, what, you know, like, who would be the uh who would be the ones booking the appointment like would it be a plumber right looking to grow their business so like yeah plumbers may be in there right we we can't control that part it's just whoever books right after the ad it's like no i'm not gonna buy it's not worth it i don't help plumbers right at least right now so um you have to like follow it all the way through. Like if you can kind of get it, what I'm saying and go all the way through, it may be like, you may have to use Figma and do like a whole or draw it out on paper and literally go through all these little yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And then you'll finally realize that the product is the, the sale, right? And this never really ends, right? Because once you sell it, then they have to have a buyer, right? In the investor example, then the buyer has to actually buy it, right? So the further you go through the entire thing, eventually it's almost like it's it becomes your business as well, right? Because, you know, I don't want just leads, right? I need to, I, I may need to follow up. I may need to convert the lead. I need to deliver the service, right? A team needs to deliver the service. So the more you go, the when you fully lay out your client's business, and you see it from end to end, right? You're going to realize, damn, this is what I'm doing. I'm just getting people from here to here. And now this whole reason, which is going to add the most value, is why they're not buying. If you add this in, right, if you can actually deliver on it, um, you're going to see, wow, more people are buying because I'm not just giving them a bunch of leads, getting them the right people to show up, we're doing it consistently. We're getting good results. And then now, like I said, you're literally just giving them exactly what they want. Automated new customers. They're just taking 
five, 10 calls a month and they're closing almost all of them, right? So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I've been seeing a lot of Go, go high level videos and, and go high level is amazing and if you want to partner with me I think I put it on the last video especially if you're in real estate um, you know it's definitely an opportunity for you because I have a ton of real estate systems that can help you ultimately get your clients what they want um, this is kind of how this thing works so I'll put a link below if you want to do that or feel free to DM me on uh, IG if you have questions or we can hump hop on a call but I have a buyer seller snapshot where you can get automated appointments for your clients show you how to qualify those leads show you how to get them really this live conversations with the right people and same thing with traditional sellers for real estate mortgage purchase I have a mortgage refi uh, snapshot and if you sign up for the go high level 297 or the 497 um, you get one 90-minute session with me per month for the first uh, 20 members. So we're almost at capacity on that. So depending on when you see this, you may have not you know, qualified for this. So anyway, yeah, Facebook support via messages. So if you need any help directly, you can uh, you know, message me on Facebook and I can send you voice messages or type some stuff out. New snapshots, updates to new snapshots. I have SOPs for, you know installing these systems, onboarding the clients, Facebook business manager asset transfers. Uh, I, got a, I got a lot of things that can basically help you get more clients, right? And then get your clients amazing results. Those are the two things that I can do. Get you clients and help you get your clients amazing results. And if you're in real estate, I've been doing this for six years. So like I said, if you want to partner with me, you don't pay this to me. This just You'd be an affiliate of my high level, and I immediately give you access to that. So we had a bunch of people last week that joined a broker, um, someone starting their agency, um, you know, someone that has a team, right? And so they realized, man, why would I go pay high level two ninety seven and kind of do it all on my own when I could pay the same amount and a little bit of a little slice goes to, um, you know, me, right, and my company, which gives you all this value so anyway enough of that if you like the video um, you know give it a thumbs up and subscribe I'm gonna be doing a blend of agency content which I think is valuable for real estate agents or entrepreneurs too because it shows you what a great agency should be doing and then two if you are an agency owner it gives you a ton of value because like I said this is all that matters forget what you know devote yourself to your clients results and you will always succeed i'm telling you that and even if you can't get the result right away or whatever your clients will feel it right and they'll know okay it, hey this a real successful business owner knows that not everything's in their control and so if you can't do something always right or you that's where you have to i mean if we if we spoke directly i could kind of give you guidance on that but you know you want to be realistic right you want to have aspiration for an amazing result but you also got to be able to deliver it right um, and so like I said though if you like we just had a client I think you can see it on my Facebook um, I posted our clients results um, so yeah we locked up five deals in the last 17 days two closed via text and one I personally locked up like 85 percent via text and then a new client got a uh, seven uh, deal within seven days of the program. So I never promised that. I never said, hey, you're going to go get a, your deal first deal in seven days because I know that isn't always the reality, right? So we offer the appointments, like I said, within the criteria of qualified, this, this whole thing. And look, you got an amazing result, right? Um, and so, like I said, if you can do this for people, even if he didn't get a deal in the first seven days, I'm telling you, if I called him and said, hey, man, we're doing everything we can. You obviously see the leads coming in. You see the appointments coming in. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're hard at work. Like, we're, we're showing up. And he's like, for sure. Like, there's not, a, there's not much else you could do, right? But most people, they just sell the client on this. They sell them this and then they deliver them this and then like once they get them on board the client's like right here this whole like 
gray area that like man i feel like i just got like in a mousetrap like i was like being told it was one thing i get in and then it's like they don't even respond they're not even answering they're not even really giving it an effort they're just like trying to automate it all and no one's helping right so i'm telling you devote yourself to your clients results and literally everything else will follow you may need to understand some practical skills around high level and this stuff but i'm gonna give i'm giving everything away on my youtube so stay subscribed share it with a friend if you like it and if you want to partner with me i would love to see if you know i could actually help you um, my knowledge uh, transcends just real estate. We have a lot of personal brand clients, and um, you know, my first business is a video business. You can see giving marketing soul here. So my cousin and I have edited, you know, I don't know, probably thousands of videos, but at least, yeah, over, yeah, probably, definitely at least five hundred or more videos. Probably, probably more, but. We have a unique, you know, blend of knowledge. So if you want to partner with us, obviously high level is kind of the uh, centerpiece of how you would partner, right? And you're not paying them anymore. Um, it's not through me, right? You're just using my link. But if you want to get value and partner, like I said, and and I, I think there's a lot of potential here. So hopefully it finds you guys well. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.